Greetings and welcome to News MTV. I am Raza Orizen. Finance and Economic Development Minister Michule Nube on Thursday announced a 927.3 billion Zimbabwean dollar budget set for 2022 against an estimated 2.7 trillion budget, which economics say was viable to stabilize the current economic turmoil in the country. According to MDC Alliance Vice President and Diabetes, Nube's budget presentations failed to address exchange rate distortions, structural challenges around the failing currency. Presented under the theme Reinforcing Sustainable Economic Recovery and Resilience, Nube projected a 5.5% economic growth in 2022, whilst allocating the biggest chunk to the Ministry of Agriculture in the tune of 124 billion Zimbabwean dollars. According to Nube, the money allocated to the Ministry of Agriculture will be earmarked for grain production, business advisory, extension services, water sanitation, irrigation development, and rural development. Nube allocated $3 billion to the Ministry of Mines and Mining Development, which he said will go a long way in enabling the mining sector to realize its 12.2 billion revenue target by 2023. $3.9 billion was allocated to the Ministry of Industry and Commerce towards the revival of Cisco Steel, value chain development and industrial upgrading. The Ministry of Environment, Climate, Tourism and Hospitality in was allocated 3.7 billion Zimbabwean dollars despite calls to fund the sector, which was the most affected under the COVID-19 period. According to Nube, the 2022 budget allocated 7.8 billion Zimbabwean dollars to the Ministry of Youth, Sports, Arts and Recreation in efforts to rehabilitate and upgrade sporting facilities as well as creating opportunities for youth in mining and agriculture. The Ministry of Women Affairs, Community, Small and Medium Enterprises was allocated 4.7 billion, which is aimed at capacitating institutions such as Women Development Fund and Zimbabwe Women's Microfinance Bank. In efforts to address the dilapidated state of infrastructure in Zimbabwe, the budget provided an overall infrastructure spending plan of 156.4 billion Zimbabwean dollars to support mainly ongoing projects. 10 billion Zimbabwean dollars was set aside to recapitalize state-owned enterprises, whilst 23.5 billion is earmarked for the capitalization of line ministries. Nube allocated 6.8 billion Zimbabwean dollars to the Ministry of Transport Infrastructure Development as part of enabling the road rehabilitation development, modernizing technologies and targets border posts, as well as upgrading border posts. The energy sector, which is currently characterized by incessant power cuts, dilapidated infrastructure, and poor service delivery, was allocated 3.9 billion Zimbabwean dollars, which Nube said will enhance power supplies and completion of Wange 7 and 8 expansion. Under the subject of housing, Nube allocated 29 billion Zimbabwean dollars for various institutional accommodation projects, whilst a further 500 million Zimbabwean dollars was set aside for the recapitalization of the national housing fund. 2.1 billion Zimbabwean dollars will be availed to the rural and urban local authorities. Meanwhile, through the intergovernmental fiscal allocation, an amount of 42.5 billion, being 5% of total revenue, will be allocated to all local authorities for implementation of impactful community infrastructure projects. The Ministry of Information was allocated 3.3 billion Zimbabwean dollars whilst the Ministry of Primary and Education was allocated 11.6 billion. Nube assigned 5.7 billion Zimbabwean dollars to higher and tertiary education. The Ministry of Health and Child Care was allocated 14.9% of the budget, which translates to 117.7 billion Zimbabwean dollars, the amount which analysts say is not enough to address the state of institutions in Zimbabwe. The 2022 budget allocated a total of 10 billion Zimbabwean dollars to the Ministry of Public Service, Labor and Social Welfare, which which is aimed at upscaling social protection program. Nube assigned 2.7 million Zimbabwean dollars to the Ministry of Information, Publicity and Broadcasting Services. He also allocated 14.9 billion Zimbabwean dollars to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Trade. Amongst other allocations, 22.7 billion Zimbabwean dollars was set aside for the Ministry of Justice, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs. Support to Parliament was set at 14.6 billion Zimbabwean dollars. The Ministry of Home Affairs received a tune of 49.4 billion Zimbabwean dollars, whilst the Ministry of Defense was assigned 61.5 billion Zimbabwean dollars. Wage bill for 2022 was set at 
340 billion Zimbabwean dollars, which translates to 41% of revenues or of 7.1% of GDP. Total revenue collections are projected at 850.7 billion Zimbabwean dollars, which is around 16.8% of total GDP.